popular foods at any event. You usually get it one time a year at your county fair. It's the things that people come out for. When you were a kid, you remember your first cotton candy, or people always come out for a corn dog. And here's the new foot long. I'm not eating that one. My father and grandfather realized that as we were growing up. And as daughters, when we graduated from high school, he put us into business by buying us a food stand. So she's quick enough to use all three machines. So that's the trick. Really, you barely even touch it. And then you gotta throw it in the bag. Or just eat it. I have three food trailers here at this event. And right now I have 12 employees. Robert, the Pepsi's out. Robert's dropping the bomb. Is this one working? What's wrong with the water? Finally, what happened to the water, Robert? Come on now, it's busy time of the night. We need our water. So this food stand here is the one that I received when I graduated high school in 1988. So over 20 years ago, this stand's been on the road. It's got my kids on it, they love it. We're really kind of the old school food, corn dogs, cotton candy. It's usually once a year and people will splurge while they're here. You know, they try and bring in new items all the time, you know, whether it's a fried Twinkie or a fried Oreo. There was a stand last year, they fried just about everything. He fries a White Castle hamburger in a so batter. He, so he, he dips it. the whole White Castle hamburger and fries it. Guess what? People buy it. Is this part of your secret recipe, those rolls too? That's a that's yeah. pretty good part of it. And we dip it in butter and a little bit of uh, olive oil in there mm. and a lot of garlic. I've she been here two. about 12 hours, I've had two. Yeah. I think we've learned that this is obviously my dad's favorite, but I think it's mine too. <laughs> Hold on, give me a bite. Mm. <laughs> Look at this thing, I can't even put my mouth around it. Yeah, you can. Well, we're more regulated by state agencies. California has strict health codes. But we're two hours before opening and still have five permits to issue. And they're not going to be allowed to open. If we don't have a health permit, we can't open our food. <laughs> and that's how I make my living. That's what pays my bills, my food. So. This is me, answer your phone. When our kids are in a parade and we love it's it. It's so cute. <laughs> services at the, um, <laughs> the fairs, the fairs, because we have the events that the kids can sit and watch. It's called cow pie. Start with a flat tortilla that we make ourselves. I think we need to pick this one up and just go for it. <laughs> Delicious. So Robert's new, newest food item is chocolate dip bacon. Who thought of this recipe? Was that you or your husband? Actually my husband. He's created one of our family. <laughs> Were you cooking bacon one day and it you fell into his chocolate or uh Well actually we have a stand that we do nothing but dip chocolate. And everything in the world we dip in it. Oh. This is the homemade ice cream sandwich. Now who wouldn't love this? <laughs> oh my. I tried the donut. <laughs> who wouldn't try a donut with a piece of chicken in the middle? 